Look at question number 9. We are given a part of this sine curve from 0 to 360. And we need to find this uh, state the part A is state the coordinates of the minimum point of the curve with the equation 4 sin theta uh, the theta is from 0 to 360 that means they want you to find the minimum point for this graph this graph is y equals sin theta so the maximum point is this 1 uh, 90 degree comma 1 and the minimum point is 270 degree comma minus 1 that's the minimum value of uh, the minimum value of this function but they want you to find the minimum value of this function that means the function sine theta is being multiplied by 4 so when you multiply uh, the function by 4 all, all the y values will be multiplied by 4 so the new function will look like uh, here the maximum value is 1 it will be transformed to 4 now so the graph will be something like this and the minimum point also minus 1 will become minus 4 now so the minimum point is 270 degree stays the same and minus 4 so our graph is this sorry about my time you can use Desmos to verify this. So our minimum point now will be 270 degree and minus 4. So all you need to do is maybe use your pencil and draw this sketch, uh, sketch this graph. You need to label the graph. So just uh, write 4 sin theta here. So the minimum point is 270 degree minus 4. That's the coordinates of the uh, minimum point. And this question has two marks. Two marks. So most probably if you plot the curve and find the coordinates, both the coordinates correct, you will get the two marks already. Now part B. In part B, they want you to find, they want you to sketch two graphs y equals 1 plus sine theta and y equals tan theta. So first we take this uh, 1 plus sine theta. The limit is 0 to 360 only. We know this curve is y equals sine theta. So if you replace a function, let's say you have y equals f of x and we have learned uh, this in graphs and transformation. If we add something to the function, the actual graph will be shifted along y-axis to the top a units. That means th this will be the curve will be shifted upwards a units. So when you take a look at this 1 plus sine theta, we have added 1 to this uh, function, actual function. So your whole curve will be shifted upwards 1 unit. That means in instead of starting from 0, the curve will start from 1. And the maximum point will be 2. So let's say 2 is here. So maximum point will be 2. And the minimum point, hey, again, this minus 1, when we move 1 unit up, it will be 0. The curve will be 0 here, 1. So this will be the new curve y equals 1 plus sine theta. So this maximum point will be 90 degree comma 2. The minimum point will be 270 0. And this point instead of 360 0, it will be 360 degree and 1. So this is how the graph will be transformed. This is what we learn in graphs and transformation. And this is just a basic uh, y equals tan theta. So the tan theta will be, the curve will look like this. And then again, if this is 90 and again at 180, we draw another curve here, same like this. And again at 360, we draw one more. This is how the tangent, uh, the y tan theta will look like. But again, they want you to draw the curve 0 to 360, 0 to 360. 
So you cannot draw anything uh, below zero because the limit starts from zero to 360. So our first one will be only the upper part. We can omit the lower part because we start the limit starts from zero. And again until 360 only. So from zero we draw a curve. And again at 180 we draw one more. Draw one more. Again 360 you need to draw another curve. That's uh, that's how the tan theta will look that the uh, tan curve will look like. But again, when you draw 360, we only draw the lower part because when you draw the upper part, it will go beyond 360. So we take only here this curve and the below part only. That's the curve y equals tan theta. So we have sketched both the curves and this got just two marks. So there is nothing much to worry about. You don't even need to mention the points. You can just uh, sketch the curves only. Unless you are asked to label the minimum and maximum points, you better label the minimum and maximum points. In part C, they want you to find the uh, point of intersection. That means they say number of solutions between this limit 0 to 2160 for this function tan theta is equal to 1 plus sine theta. That means basically they are talking about the point of intersection of these two curves. 1 plus sine theta is this and our tan theta is this curve. So how many point of intersection? Let's, let's not worry about this uh, basic curve y is equal to sine theta. We don't need that. We don't need that. y is equal to sine theta. All we need is this... Uh, 1 plus sine theta and tan theta. So when you equate them, they are basically talking about point of intersection. When you look at these two curves, how many point of intersection do you see? One here and one here. That's all. We got only two point of intersection. So within this limit 0 to 360, 0 to 360, you have two number of solutions. Two solutions. Within this limit 0 to 360, we have two solutions. So by using this measurement, we can calculate the number of solutions for any limit. They want you to find 0 to 360, then 720, all the way up to 2160. So we just calculate from two, uh, in from 0 to 2160 can be divided into how many 360 parts. So we divide them. So when we divide them, it should be, use your calculator, so 2160 divided by 360, we got 6 portions, same like this, we will have 6 portions, each portion has 2, 2 solutions, so we will have 6 times 2, 12 solutions. For the first one, we will have 12 solutions, same goes for the second one. The limit is 0 to 1980. That means we need to find out how many 360 this portion is in 1980. We divide 1980 by 360. Whatever the result is, multiply by 2. So 1980 divided by 360. We got 5.5 actually. So 5.5. That means you will have 5 portions. 5 portions. The answer is 5.5, but don't worry about it. If you take 5 portions, you will have 5 times 2. If you take 5 portions, you will have 5 times 2, 10 solution. And half of it, half of it means 0 all the way up to 180 degree. 0 to 180, you will have one more solution. So 10 or you can just multiply this by 2. That's 11 solution. So within this limit, you will have 11 solutions. So no matter what the limit is, divide it by this 360 and multiply by the number of solutions. Here we have two solutions, two point of intersections and multiply by the figures, whatever you get when you divide by 360. 
So when you write these 12 and 11 solutions, you will have 3 marks. That's our part C.